Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. We're going to have a little bit of uh, fun in top tip number 15 by creating a tilt shift effect. Um, let's take a look at how we can do that non-destructively. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in on the image uh, so we can uh, see this man more clearly crossing Times Square there. Um, now, in order to apply this non-destructively, we are going to have to convert uh, the background layer uh, to a smart object. Okay, so now we can go in and uh, access from the filter menu, uh, we can go down and access the blur gallery. Now you'll notice uh, when we're using um, a smart object that lens blur is greyed out because uh, we can't actually uh, apply that to smart object layers. Interestingly enough though, lens blur is the blur that is being used in the blur gallery primarily. Uh, so for instance, we're going to get a good lens blur by using tilt shift. Okay, now if you do have uh, selections um, active, you can actually create um, um, a receding depth of field effect uh, with the lens blur and you still use a non destructive workflow. Okay, but in this one, tilt shift relies that we don't actually have any selections, it creates that toy town look. So I'll just go in and select uh, tilt shift. Now we can see that we have a central pin, this is where we're going to choose the air area of focus and I'm just going to drop that down to this uh, pedestrian crossing here. How much blur we've got, let's just zoom out one so you can see that uh, as we move uh, uh, up the uh, boulevard here towards Times Square, um, this is Broadway actually, um, we're getting that out of focus effect. We can create how much out of focus using the blur a slider there. So let's just make that even more out of focus. If I want the focus to fall off more rapidly, then I could just bring in these outer lines. Uh, we can also bring in the inner lines. We can very carefully control the area of sharp focus uh, like so. Okay, so that's really now creating that toy town effect that I was looking for. Okay, so uh, we can just uh, select OK now and that will be applied. And because I've um, uh, rendered the uh, layer as a smart object first, it's being applied as a smart filter. So that at any time in the future, if I want to adjust the focus point, maybe further down Broadway, I wouldn't have to start again. I could just double click on Blur Gallery, come in and move that focus point uh, to a different position on Broadway, click OK and the image will update. Okay, so that is the uh, Blur Gallery. Um, if you're a fan of maybe Lens Baby and Tilt Shift lenses, but you don't really want to uh, do that in camera, you'd rather do that in post, uh, this is the technique you're looking for.